Hello, Winnie. Have you written that letter to Grandma that Daddy told you to write? No, Daddy. I try not write to Grandma because I've got a bad finger. What's the matter with your finger? I cut it, Daddy. You haven't been touching Daddy's razor, have you? Yes, Daddy. I cut two pieces in the shop. It was sharp. You say it was very sharp. You won't touch it again, will you? No, Daddy, I can't. You can't? No, Daddy, I threw it out the window. What, you threw Daddy's razor out of the window? Yes, Daddy. You're a naughty girl. Now Daddy has to find it. But first of all, what about that letter? Did Daddy write it for you? Yes, Daddy wrote it for me. All right. But Winnie must tell me what to say. Yes. I'll tell you what to say. You, Daddy. Thank you very much for my birthday present that you give to me. Give me? You mean that you gave me? You give to me? Gave me. Give to me? Oh, dear. Perhaps I'd better write it in your own language. That you give to me? That you gave me? Full stop. What else should I say? Tell her you like it very much. Do I? Well, of course you do, don't you? What do I like? Why, the present that Grandma gave you. What present? Aren't you writing to thank Grandma for the present she gave you? Yes, but she hasn't given me one yet. Then why on earth are you thanking her for it? To remind her to send me one. That's not a bad idea. But one moment. But when was your birthday? Tomorrow. Wait a moment. Why did I want you to write to Grandma? You said I was to write to Grandma and ask if she was better, because she's been very ill, and that she would hope she would die. I hope she would die. Yes, Daddy. You said if I wrote her a letter, she would be tickled to death. Don't you want her to be tickled to death, Daddy? Oh, dear, you've got all the wrong end of the stick. What I meant was, a letter from you would amuse her, and she would feel much better. Now tell her where you are. I'm sitting on my daddy's knee. No, no. Tell her you're at the seaside and you're having a holiday. Am I? Of course you are. That's why you're at the seaside. Well, you're not on a holiday. Why isn't it? Writing letters. The dad is writing, not you. Now put a block. Why a block? Then Grandma knows me writing. Now what else shall I say? Ask after Grandpa. How is Grandpa? Tell him how nice it is at the seaside and how you wish he was here. Yes. Please, Grandma, tell Grandpa it's very nice at the seaside that there are no donkeys and I wish he was here. It doesn't sound very nice. You may take it the wrong way. Now, what else are you going to say? I think I've said enough. Well, how are you going to finish the letter? At the end. Oh, I know. Uh, I remain your loving granddaughter, Winnie. Well, you can write Winnie, can't you? Yes, I can write Winnie. W-I-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-N-
take Winnie outside. Oh, but I want to be here at Johnny Rousseau. Well, well, you can come back again. But leave Winnie in the next room. There you are, clever kid. Johnny, get on with your recitation. For oh, the hill tops fire, the mud shop for Chelsea. Now, what's the trouble? Chelsea has my chocolates that are left in the next room. I haven't. I've only taken half of them. I gave the other half to Winnie. Hand me them over at once. Elsie and Johnny, you had better settle your differences with Winnie in the next room. And mind you, if you make her cry, I shall punish you severely. Do you always take Winnie's part? Well, she's younger than you are, but she's not to blame. Elsie had no business to give her your chocolates. Do you hear me, Elsie? All right, I'll take you out of Elsie. Johnny, you'll do nothing of the kind. Oh, I mustn't make Winnie cry. I mustn't touch Elsie. I think I'll go in the garden and eat one and die. <laughs>